Well, Shemai, everyone, how are you all? I thought I'd do a little bit of an update of my craft room because I've started to move some stuff in. Now, don't get too excited. We're a long way off moving in ourselves, but I've been trying to sort of clear out my rather cluttered craft room in the house. I'm going to apologise in advance for my very croaky voice. My, my lovely class have given me a bit of a double whammy this week. First, I had their stomach bug, and now I seem to have the cold that's going around. So that's why I sound like I do. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing in some of these cupboards so far. They might move about. Um, fingers crossed I don't make you dizzy. So I'm going to start. I'll just give you a pan around. There's the door. As you come in then, I've got kitchen counters all down the left-hand side and across the back. Desk in the middle. And there's my sink then. Then I've got... My Carlax, I've got the 5x5 five five Carlax. I've got three Billy bookcases and my upcycled Welsh dresser. And then in the middle of the room is my fantastic craft table that my husband built for me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start on the left-hand side and show you in some of the cupboards. I'm just going to try not to whiz around because otherwise you'll all be taking travel tablets. So um, the nice thing is about these higher cabinets here is I've still got plenty of room to work underneath and I'm hoping to have this as my um, die cutting area. Seems a bit fuzzy for some reason. I don't know whether it's struggling with the light on these doors. So at the moment I've got my um, Sizzix dies and my Biggs dies in there. No idea if they'll stay there yet but... They seem a pretty good area to put them in. Then this one at the moment is just full of stuff that I haven't decided where it needs to go. Then the good thing is about this room, I've got lots of cupboard space. And let me tell you, I need it. Us, collect uh, us crafters are collectors. I don't like to call us hoarders. We're more like collectors of stuff. This one at the moment has got my Gemini Junior in and my foil machine that I had for Christmas last year and my mink machine and I haven't had a chance to use them yet because I bought them straight over here and as you can see we're not living in it yet. So the nice thing is there's lots of counter space. I was sorting out 12 by 12 card stock today and usually in my craft room um, in my house which is also in the loft but I can't stand up in the middle. I'm usually sort of sat cross-legged trying to do it with about a two-inch square um, around me. So this top drawer at the moment has got ribbon in it. I bought these from Ikea. They were quite cheap, actually. I've still got more ribbon in my house to bring over. These, a lot of these were um, my mum's and um, some of my own then that I brought over ready. This drawer then has got a bit of a mixture of stuff in. I got things that I usually use for Project Life. I haven't done Project Life this year because I knew I wouldn't have chance. But I've got stickers and alphabets, um, other stickers there. These are little domes you can put on your cards with little things in. I had these um, little units from Amazon. Then I've also got glitters, reinkers jump rings from when I used to make um, paper bag paper bag book albums. It's a bit of a mouthful. This bottom drawer then, these boxes, I think I had from the plastic box shop. I've also seen one similar, I think, in Home Bargains. And I'm going to put my punches in there. These are ones that I don't use very often, but you can't part of them either. Because as soon as you get rid of them, that's when you need them. So I've got two other big drawer units. This one's got nothing in at the moment, only these little tubs. I think these... Ikea again. These are from Ikea. The problem is with having big, <laughs> big drawers, and I don't mean the ones you wear, is all your stuff will move about. So it's, it's sort of important to try to keep them in some kind of order. These then... These boxes, some are from Ikea, some are from Home Bargains, and that's where I'm going to keep all my framelets and thinlets. So as I say, this is going to be my die-cutting area on this side. 
and then this bottom drawer here has got my Cricut cartridges. I've still got a Cricut Expression, which is going back some years, and I love the cartridges. So these are the ones that I brought over so far. I've got more in the house that I use quite a lot. My alphabet I tend to use for displays for school. My television will be going in there. Hopefully, Lee is hoping we'll get a good deal after Christmas. So I put this floating shelf up. I said I, obviously Lee, put the floating shelf up. And I've got a little sound system in there that I bought for my mum that she used to love. And, you know, we haven't got any... I've, we've got a massive selection of DVD, uh, sorry, CDs. And we haven't got um, a CD player. So I, I'm going to keep that. Up here, then, I've got glue guns and glue sticks and all that kind of thing. This, I can't remember. Oh, of course, I got a first aid kit. And I've also got bunting that my mum made me for Christmas before she passed away. So I'm going to put that up. And she also got me this, which says Nikki's craft room with a little hook. And I often wear um, an apron when I'm using inks. So I'm going to have that put on the side and put my aprons up. So this corner unit, now this is a bit more of an awkward one. These, these corner units are quite awkward. At the moment I've got tubs of paper flowers. Excuse the heavy breathing. I'm asthmatic as well, so when I've got a cold, it goes straight to my chest. And um, lots of different crafting books and baking books. My mother and I shared a love for baking. Above this cupboard here, I've got scrapbook layouts that I've made and I framed. That was my sister and my nephew when he was very small. He's no longer that small. This has got all the bits from the kitchen cabinets. Um, we've changed lots of the um, hinges to soft closers. And this is the strip that needs to go on the worktop that we haven't got around to doing yet. I don't know why, it's not as if we haven't got a whole house to build. Then these cupboards here, at the moment, there's a bit of a hodgepodge of stuff in here, like kitchen roll, my dream cuts. I don't know why I keep it, but then some days I think, oh, that's really useful for cutting the squares. So who knows? I've got a box, one of these art bin satchels full of Project Life. I think I'll have a sort through of those. I've got one then with photos. Then I've got these ones. From I bought these from Hobbycraft. Every time I bought them, they've been in a sale full of old photos because obviously after I lost my parents, I inherited all their photos and my dad was a real photographer. He loved taking photos. I got a box there of pro markers and all my sort of different pencils. Not that I'm an expert at all with pencils. I went through a stage using watercolour pencils, realised I wasn't that great at it, so I haven't done much since... <laughs> Then another corner unit, so I'm thinking of putting stuff in here I don't use very often. At the moment it's got stickers and bits and bobs, but I need a good sort out in there. Now I don't think I've done much with these drawers. Yeah, that's like the junk drawer at the moment. So I need to sort out of that one. And another junk drawer. But I'm gonna keep, as you can see I've got my Cricut tools there. I'm gonna put my blades for my silhouette. I've got the Cricut Explore one. I actually bought it for my mum, in fairness to her. She tried to use it once or twice, but just, she was baffled by it. But I'm not getting rid of my expression, because I love it. And then these are the old style Stampin' Up! ink pads, and ones that have sort of been retired. I like to keep them anyway, because I still like the colours. This will be my computer desk, and my computer probably I will sort of put in the one corner, have my printer the other side. Because I don't want to block, I don't want to block the view. I mean, obviously at the moment, there's not much of a view out, but hopefully it will be at some point. Then is my sink area. I'm going to have a kettle there and have a little tea making space. Another one of the scrapbook layouts I created. And this shelf is lovely because, let's see if I can zoom in 
is all little bits that I've had of children that have been in my class over the years. So it's nice to sort of have space to put them on display. So at the moment, this has got my cups, grey and white, to match the room, obviously. But they don't stand up. That um, metal stand they're in is not very straight. So it looks a bit wonky. These are my Xyron machines. Um, one of them was my mum's that I bought her. Then this is my sewing sort of area. My mum loved sewing. So, um, when she passed away, obviously I had all her materials, all her threads, her machine. So I wanted to sort them all out. Once again, these are IKEA, little IKEA tabs. And they're really cheap. I think they're something like 80 pence. So there we are, more threads. A toffee hammer, because obviously I have no idea why. All my bobbins in one place. I, I couldn't cope with them all being in about three different places. Then this drawer then. Numerous scissors. All these mystery bits for a sewing machine that at the moment I have no idea how to use. Some quilting things. Metallic thread. No, metallic um, fabric glues. And findings and things like that. My mum was was a fabulous sewer, me not so much. So I think I'll uh, treat myself some lessons. This is my Ikea, oh, what's it called? Not Herma, I'm sure it begins with a H. That was really scratched on the front, so I, I spray painted the front. So I've got ink pads, Versamark, things like that. Sequins and glitters and more glitters. There's such handy little drawers, embossing powders, heat gun, um, embossing folders again, and crafting balls, woodware punch, not woodware, Martha Stewart punches, I don't use those very often so I should have a sort out, and different adhesives and sponges. These little pots with lids on I also got from Ikea. Nothing in there at the moment. We need to plumb in the sink. These are really handy as well. These little lights that go on the door hinge. So when the door shuts then the light goes off. So this is um, a storage unit from Ikea again. I did have two in here but I didn't really have much to stay in there to put in there. So I've just got at the moment like um, stamping up embellishments. A lot of this stuff was my mum's because, again, she used to craft with me. <clears throat> this is the unit that is from Hobbycraft. I didn't pay full price for it. I think they're quite a lot of money. So um, I think I added in a sale. So I've got stamping blocks, my mum's stamper artists and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I've still got these stamping up reels. Wheels, sorry, not reels, that I so sort of can't bear to part with. I've got paints and gilding flakes. I'm hoping if these gilding flakes are out, I might actually use them. Now, my husband and I made these storage units out of foam board. I bought, I think it's buy three and get one free from Hobbycraft. And I think they worked out about £10 or something. I think it was £30 for the whole lot. I think I had about 12 for about £30. I think it was like that anyway. And then Lee drew out um, a drawing on SketchUp to make sure that we were using them and we weren't having too much waste. So we drew out all the cuts. These boxes are totally Tiffany boxes. And I had them. It was um, half price sale and I had extra money off from Crafters Companion. Because actually I think they're quite expensive what they are. Because they are cardboard. They do come with these plastic dividers which are fab. So I started bringing some of my 12 by 12 over. I've got quite a lot of 12 by 12. Then I've got trimmers. Another one of these boxes. But this is all sewing items in here. In these boxes up here, I've got sewing items. I've got cross stitch threads, I think. Yeah, all cross stitch threads up there because I used to do a lot of cross stitching. Again, I'd like to have time to do that again. 
deco patch items because that was another hobby I felt I needed to start. And then, oh, Ada. Ada? Ada? I never know. And then these are sewing kits. So I've got to get sewing just to use some, some of this stuff. I bought this to think, I was thinking of putting like inks or something on it. This was Home Bargains, good old Home Bargains. Then I've got these 12 by 12 boxes. Once again, I bought these from the plastic box shop. And it holds Stampin' Up papers and 12, um, six by six pads from Stampin' Up. Then I had the five doors down the bottom. This is Christmas bits and bobs in there, like punches and framelets. And there's my um, photo printer and a few bits, mis miscellaneous bits. Now that bag there is full of brads and eyelets. I really should either get sorting or get using. Silhouette stuff in there. And there are all my little um, Christmas, De December daily documented things from years gone past. Excuse me, let me get my breath back. Up on the top here, there's my um, Kat Kidston sewing basket. And this little teddy bear here, I had off a very good friend of mine that I used to work with. And we used to send home, his name was Teddy Tut, which is Little Bear in Welsh, home with the children. And she bought me that to remind me of Teddy Tut. A clock that doesn't work because I haven't put batteries in. I had that off my nephew when he was very little because he thought I might like cows. Yeah. So at the moment I've got the Stampin' Up! ink storage, the plastic ones, and the ink blenders. But obviously could I still use those on a regular basis? They're still in the other house. One of these organisers from Ikea that I keep all my project life stuff in. That's what I've taken a lot of the stickers from. And there's um, thickers. I didn't realise there were so many packs of thickers, to be honest. Then I've used these tiered cupboard um, units, once again, from Home Bargains, to put my wooden stamps on. Because, you know, even though I mainly use Stampin' Up! stamps, there are some stamps I just love and I don't want to part with. Excuse me if you can hear my knees crack now. So I'm just going down the floor here. These are total Tiffany 12 by 12 cases. And they've got, each one of them has got Stampin' Up! Christmas papers in. And I've put the names on them. They're fab because every... Oops, I knew that was going to happen. So every little offcut from that pack of paper... You can put back in their little folders there. Keep it all together. I've got a box of miscellaneous stamps and old wooden stamps down there that I don't want to part with yet. I haven't done anything with this unit here. Here are my stamping up stamps on um, Billy Rock cases. And I've given them all a bit of a colour code. And I've been, use I've been sort of cataloguing them then on um, Evernote. There are gaps because I got some of the Christmas stamps at home to make some Christmas cards. There's all my Christmas ones on the bottom. And hopefully now, it'll, what'll be nice is the fact that I can keep my Christmas stamps out in my house now. They're sort of in a box under my desk, so they're a bit of a pain. I, I only ever get them out when I'm ready to make cards. Whereas now, it'd be nice to make a few every month. Then, so if I start at the top, this is to remind me where I catalogued up to. So all of them now have got like a little coloured spot on them, like backgrounds, um, textures, ones for children, flora and fauna, ones for romance or celebrations. So the lots of these are retired ones, but I don't like to part with them. I mean, obviously, if there's ones that I, I think, oh, I won't use anymore, then I'm not that sentimental that I'll keep them all. But um, there are ones that I use over and over, so I keep them. I'm a hobby demo, so I haven't got to get it, rid of everything that's out, that's been discontinued. Three more of my scrapbook layouts. And this is my most precious piece in here. This was my mum and dad's Welsh dresser, which was a, a very orange pine colour. But obviously that didn't go in my room at all. Um, so I use French chic. Took so much sand in. 
And I've got then on here all precious things that belong to family that are no longer with me. My grandmother's books, my father's cameras. This held chocolate when I was a little girl. My grandmother's crystal, my mother's crystal. A great auntie's china tea set. There's something I made for my mum there. And my mum's cake stand. I had this off my nephew and his partner for Christmas. There we go. Lots of china in there, very old china. Including, my mother always wanted me to go and flog it. Because she thought that this yellow teapot would be worth a small fortune. So she used to say, oh, go on, go and flog it. I need to get magnets for my doors. I think they go for about £5 on eBay. But I kept it for sentimental reasons. And more old china and crystal in there. And the only thing I haven't shown you now... <coughs> excuse me is my craft desk and my husband designed this around these three shelf units from my from Argos sorry and then on each one I put things that are precious to me Russian dolls I've collected Russian dolls since I was a little girl I love anything to do with Russian dolls so you can see there's more there I am just fascinated by them then my Welsh dolls, an ornament my friend and a little boy had made for me, an ornament out of my mum, special candle, and then my sign for my craft room, an ornament there of a very good friend in school, and an ornament from my cousin. So my desk is actually two lab captain um, worktops, desks from Ikea. And because it scratches quite easily, I bought myself a cutting mat. And I bought this from, what's it called? Rhino Cutting Mat. And they will cut it to size and then they give you the leftovers. So I've got the leftovers now to make two smaller ones. So, there we go. There's lots of people that have been asking, you know, have I started organising yet? So here we are, just a little bit of a, a look around. Fingers crossed. It won't be too long before another video when I've moved more stuff in. And fingers crossed it won't be much longer before we move ourselves in. So thank you for joining me. Take care. Heil